1970, when our first store opened in West Philly, our founder was coming at things from a different point of view that focused on the customer as opposed to a particular product. We wanted the customer to be able to come to us for everything from denim to vinyl to plants, and from there grew into a global set of 700 plus stores, five brands, and over $5 billion in revenue. No big deal. <laughs> I'm Rob Freeman. I'm CIO of URBN. We are a global specialty retailer with five major international brands, Anthropology, Urban Outfitters, Free People, FP Movement, and Newly. We are a company that's obsessed with our customers and obsessed with creativity. In addition to areas like security and corporate infrastructure, I'm responsible for all the systems that run our stores internationally and our digital platforms. Basically, everything that allows someone to find what they want to buy, buy it, get it delivered to them, and if they have any considerations, we'll help them return it to. We tend to have a very build-oriented mindset. So we decided to go ahead and engineer our own e-com platform. But it takes a lot of engineering to accommodate so many different payment types. When we started working with Stripe, we didn't just want a direct-to-consumer payments processing solution. We wanted one that could extend across our stores and digital and really allow us to create a more seamless payment processing experience. Each time we brought up a core requirement for Urban to do business across both retail and the digital space, they really delivered. You want to return something that you bought online in store or pick up an online order in store and do an additional transaction. Those are complex transactions. And where it really becomes craft is being able to seamlessly knit that together for the customer. I think every retailer has to look at how they want their customer experience to evolve and needs to think about where and how they want to grow in the future, areas of friction that they want to reduce. I realized in the future we could move engineering resources to other problems and we could rely on Stripe in the payment space. And that took a lot of trust.